say the collapse of the GOP health reform bill shows we're becoming a more of a socialized nation. Come on in, John Allison, former CEO and president of the Cato Institute. All right, now, when I hear Cato, I think free markets, okay? I have to put it to you, the free market is losing ground. We, free marketeers, we're losing. We can't even get rid of Obamacare. What say you? I unfortunately have to agree with you, Stuart. Um, people really want a free lunch, and what they want with medical care is no uh, limitations on pre-existing conditions, and they don't want a mandate at the same time, which means you, they, you don't have insurance. We can't get and, rid of it, And that we? is a real problem. Yeah, I mean, the principle it, here is it, once the government gives something, it cannot take it away, <laughs> and we are going down the European road. I mean, I don't see any, any end to this. I don't see how free market people can win. Do you? It, well, I hope we can win over the intellectual argument and we show how free markets work, but it, it, we're losing. We're losing. You know, it's ironic we're making some progress on civil liberties, which is important to libertarians, but on economic freedom, we're going in the wrong direction. And unfortunately, Trump really hadn't stopped that. No. Now, you were formerly the CEO of BB&T Bank, Big Bank, so we wanted to ask you this about a new survey which says more investors are buying bank stocks than technology stocks. That's news to us. Any idea why investors are buying bank stocks? Well, I think there's a combination that tech stocks are mighty high in terms of price to earnings multiples and banks have upside potential if we really do get some deregulation and we do get a normalization of interest rates. And that's the issue. Uh, are we, gonna, we are seeing some improvement on the regulatory front, but it's not dramatic. And we've had some rise in interest rates, but uh, those two factors could drive much uh, healthier earnings growth in banks. And bank stocks still, in many cases, are trading than less than they were 10 years ago. So they've, they've got some upside potential. Are you disappointed? Because literally, what, six months ago, we all had <laughs> dreams of getting rid of Dodd-Frank, getting rid of Obamacare, tax cuts all over the place, less rules and regulations, less red tape, and build a wall. We haven't got anything. You disappointed? I really am, Stuart. I'm very disappointed to tell you the truth. I, I'm still, I, I'm not ready to give up, <laughs> but I'm very disappointed. And the Republican Party isn't what they purported to be, and that's, that's the dilemma. You don't really have a majority of people that believe in free markets. Uh, they're still in the minority, and that's the problem we've got. Yes, sir. It's, and it's, it, it's concerning. It, it's very sad, isn't it? You know, here we are. We had such great hopes. Yeah. Most of them dashed. So, yeah. thank John Allison. Thanks. Well, you know, go ahead. Last word. Go ahead. Yeah, I see what I was going to say. It's so interesting. Europe is doing so poorly, and we want to emulate them, and that's really a tragedy. What do you think I came here for? You know, I'm a reformed <laughs> European, and here I am. Right. I see America get more socialist all the time. It drives me crazy. But, John Allison, thanks for being honest with us. We like that. And thanks for being on the show. Thank you, sir.